Hello and welcome back to another Teller My PBX video tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to assign routes to your DIDs and phone numbers and the specify where you want them to go. So let's log in to our demo account. Now we've talked about in previous videos how to assign inbound routes to auto attendance by time of day. And we've also talked about how to set calls based on operator managed routes. So if you want a day mode and a night mode, we specify that as well. In this example, we just want to straight assign a phone number uh, in this example to a specific user. And if we haven't already provided a direct number for a, a user, then we can always control it based on all of the numbers we have in our inbound route. So for example, in my user extension 100 here, under phone, I have options to specify, sorry, under advanced settings rather, I have the option to specify a direct DID for this person. Now this will specify all the available DIDs I have in the system, and I can quickly specify it to this user here. This is the quickest way to assign a incoming call route specifically for a user. If I wanted to give this user an outbound call appearance, the same as his direct phone number, I would select this option here. If I use assign default, that means whatever the main uh, company number that I've assigned as the main number will appear as, as his outbound call. Otherwise, if you want to show his direct number, you can select this option. Now, in my inbound routes, I will see a list of all my available phone numbers that I can assign to users, and one of which has already been assigned uh, based on an operator managed route. So let's just go ahead and assign this 416 number we have over here. So the first thing we would want to do is hit from our, uh, our options menu here, create time-based route, and we want to say, uh, skip right over here to the handlers, when, anytime. So we want to use the all hours option, which basically says, doesn't matter what time of day, I want to skip any schedules I might have already had or didn't have, and I use my all hours, and route the call to uh, anything that I really want. So I can send calls to an IVR menu, and you'll notice that depending on the script that you choose, the options will change below. So if I want to send a call directly to a user extension, I can do so by hitting go to user extension, and then I'll have different options to go to specific users. Now, I'll also have the option to prepend text to a caller ID name. Now, this is very important because this allows me to augment the caller ID name with a specific tag or title to inform the person that this call is coming from either a specific number or for a specific group. So for example, if this phone number is associated to a sales phone number, I can basically mark this as sales. And what this will do is before it'll show me uh, the caller ID name, it's going to say sales and then the caller ID name. So before I answer the phone, I know exactly what this call is for. They're calling my sales line. So that is a great feature. In this case, we're going to leave it blank. If I had to press save right now, any call coming into this number is going to go straight to this user extension. And when I press save, that number becomes live. I can call this number right now, and it's automatically routing to that user's phone. Now, if that user's phone's not online, it will then go to the voicemail or whatever other forwarding routes that might be within that extension. So let's go one example here, and let's, instead of going to a user extension, I want to route a call to a hunt list, and I've actually I haven't created any hunt list that we've done. We're going to do in another video, but let's route a call to a auto attendant, and I want to assign this anytime to my open menu. And again, I can always append uh, names to the caller ID. So even if it goes to an auto attendant, when it does finally reach a person, that person will still understand what number they called. This is good for all sorts of tracking. If you're running a sales campaign or if you've got a dedicated support line or any other branch or division you have within your business, you can tag numbers so you know, uh, your callers know, your users know what callers, uh, what called number uh, was actually used by the caller. 
And that's it. That's how you set up inbound routes based on any time to anywhere you want it to go. If you want to learn more about setting up inbound routes based on operator managed routes or time-based schedules, feel free to browse the videos on the left that will talk about how to set those routes up. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.